Hey guys, this is going to be our final episode of Minecraft Story Mode, so hopefully you guys are excited. I'm excited, so let's jump into it. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. <laughs> he loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by him. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. Em, you are seriously damaging my flow by being such a downer. Either get on my side or get out of here. I'm just being realistic. If you really think you can get all the teams to not fight each other, then go right ahead. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Hey, but the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but um, those gladiators are like super tough. <laughs> like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh no, no, I mean totally OP. It's true, any one of those gladiators could probably beat any of us to a pulp one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? There's no way they'd be able to do that if we all tried to fight them at once. Oh, I get it now. 
if we work together as a team. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it. Doing awesome. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you, and I believe that we will be free. Yeah! Not real? You, you I can can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Hadrian. And not just any day, but the final day of the game! Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls! The walls! So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will <clears throat> judge you for it. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Maybe. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, <sighs> choices are... Hey! <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't what get anything. You mean, Adrian? <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Nothing Who's heard this a lot? Nah. Oh my gosh, do you really think so? That's terrible. Uh, oh, oh, wow, true. I mean, yeah, C could you not tell? I hate you. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Gravel, that's worse than dirt. Nope, just dirt. Come on. I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mevia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh -huh. This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Now, we M got movement. 
Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Now hang on, Em, you don't have to do this. Already made up my mind. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Figured I'd try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike Thank down you, you made the design. right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that's... Could, but What's don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah, why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots? When what they should be doing... You are not going to bully us. Wait, wait, wait. Hadrian's the bully, not us. Woo! That's a relief. Go! Oh, imbeciles! Lab? Lab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of- Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm, even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No! No! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other! Oh, would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already? I heard Mevia. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom! Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you! We control the games! We decide their outcome! Mevia... Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! So you admit the games are rigged, then? <laughs> sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse. With the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud of... Hey, uh, hello? Hello? What are you doing? Now, it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart. 
now. Now. Because, uh, I will trap you here. Forever. You heard, Otto. The Atlas is mine. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Otto about that later, but trust me. The Atlas will never be yours. Ah! Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. M, come back! Well, now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe! Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! <laughs> Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no we'll match. see about that! I got this, Hadrian! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> <gasps> this game... is... No! no! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! <laughs> I... I lost. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so! It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys! You said you believed in me, Jesse! Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else! You know, cuz I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Bad. Sweet. Payback ah, time! Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Yeah. <laughs>
Ta-ta for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You take this as going to help? You're deluded! Come on! You never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I've come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? That's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. But... what if I'm bored? Sounds like Otto's gonna be, you know, like, restarting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea! We can actually make them fun! M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. Truth be told, not really sure what I'm gonna do with myself. Crown Mesa was the closest thing I've had to a home in a long time, and well, clearly they don't want me back. 
So now I'm kinda, well, without a home. You could always come with us. Yes, that's a lovely idea. Nah, that's real sweet of you and all, but I can't just keep tacking myself on to other people's lives. It's time for me to find my own world, my own home. Try to make up for the not so good things I've done. If my experience is any indication, you'll probably still be haunted by nightmares for a while. Waking terrors, guilt sweats. Don't worry, it'll all pass soon. You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye! Come on. You're amazing! So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice. There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Oh, come on, was there ever any doubt? Of course we made it home. Well, I wouldn't say I doubted you, but, uh, for a while there, I almost forgot what home even looked like. Ah, <sighs> it is good to be back. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The crown of the Eversource, the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh? I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. 
Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. That's all right. He went on just as epic a journey as the rest of us if he wants to dive right back into the portal network. Well, I think he's earned it by this point. So you think we should just let him go? Yeah, I do. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Alright guys, <clears throat> this is crazy, we finally finished the game, and yeah, I guess I gotta talk about the game, huh? Well, you guys can see the stats, oh, I'm sorry, you guys can see the stats on screen, you guys can read those, honestly they're not important, it's just we finished the game. Make sure there's nothing, make sure there's nothing else, and then I'll give you guys my review everything like that it's not done well in a very unfortunate and unexpected twist it appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies that's right Adrian and it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it Wings, chicken wings, you know. You're this fired, is the beginning Maria. of the game. That's what we chose. You're fired. That's what we chose in the beginning of the game. That's actually kind of cool. All right, guys, we're done with Minecraft story mode. Now I'm gonna keep this fairly short because, yeah, I don't think you guys really want to hear this. Honestly, I think with the game, it's done. It was a very good game. Overall, the game, very good game. The story to it was okay. The characters were okay. How the game played, it was okay. Overall, it was an okay game. By far not one of the best. By far not one of the best. Um, the camera controls were a little bit wonky. Um, the actual gameplay itself is very very linear. I know the telltale games that advertise the whole uh, pick your path in the end It's all very linear um, Again, there wasn't much to do. It was just the story. The story itself was amazing. The characters were decent So that's why the story I really loved the plots the the plot of the story I loved the characters were not very super well developed. They were nice not super well developed so the Plot amazing, characters there okay, gameplay was okay. So overall, is it worth the money? Maybe. Because this is a story game, it ends. The actual game itself, I forgot, I forgot how much it was, it was like 15 or $20 for the, only the first five, and then, or first four, or whatever, how many, the, you know, let's check. So it's like twenty dollars for the first for the first five it was like fifteen twenty dollars and then it was like another couple dollars for just the last three episodes. So is it worth it for like thirty forty dollars for this game? I don't know because the gameplay itself was only about maybe ten hours fifteen hours. Um, so maybe not. I really don't. Um, if you have a lot of money and you want to play something, yeah, I'd recommend it. If you have only $30 in your possession, no, I would not recommend buying it. It's just kind of how it is. Um, 
That's just my opinion. If you guys want a big full review, you can tell me. I'll gladly make it. If you don't, it's completely fine. But yeah, guys, this is going to be it. For me, we have finished Minecraft Story Mode. You're not going to see this in your sub boxes anymore, which is kind of sad. I've been having a lot of fun. Again, this game wasn't the best, but I definitely enjoyed it. It was not a bad game. And if you have a lot of money, I'd recommend buying it. It's a decent game. It's a good 10, 15 hour game. So guys, the last time in this series, I'm going to have an outro, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.